Alright, so last time we were somewhat successful. We cleared our way out of the slums in record time. And what appears to be new on the screen here is some stats. I, I don't recall seeing these before, so maybe they got added in in a recent update. They are pretty positive. I mean, we've only died once. We've got three successful heights, so that's... Uh, it's pretty good all around, I would I should say. So let's go ahead and continue. So last time we were still I think Maholda Maholda Clownface, debonair uh, burglar mistress. We did have quite a bit of money, more so than we've had before. But well, to get to that next level, it's going to require a whopping. 25,000. We are going to want to make some additional upgrades. Make the warehouse uh, a little bit easier on us. One of those things is going to have to be this upgrade to our hacking ability. That will allow us to unlock those locked doors. We also want to probably increase our hack speed. That sounds useful. And get some more money. That's pretty useful as well. Uh, melee upgrades are a little bit expensive. I'm going to hold off on Action Hero, unless people actually want to see it in Teleporter. Not only expensive, but super useful. Still, as of right now... Hmm... Yeah, I think we're going to have to do at least one more successful ice to really get anything good. Yeah, we are just a little bit shy of getting bombs, and bombs are going to be super useful, so let's see if we can't get some more money. So, we did at least one heist in the warehouse district, and it was somewhat successful. I mean, uh, we were pretty blocked off by the inability to get through locked doors, or... Well, a lot of things, so... Well, looks like we might already be able to get through a window up there, but... Man, we have... Just just in this general area, we've already se we're already seeing a bunch of new, new dangers. Such as this big guy here. He will take a number of hits. He's got a reasonable uh, view range. And... He takes a lot of hits. He is a melee-based character, but, well, we don't want to ever set him off because, well, we'll set off the alarm. So, another thing we got here are mines. Mines you can hack, as you can tell by the prompt, and they will become friendly to us and aggro and explode to enemies if we are able to hack them successfully. The one caveat is that if we mess up the hack, it will blow up in our face and we will die. So, let's hope for the best. You just gotta, you just gotta take it slow and smooth. Now, for some reason, these mines only work on the, uh, the vertical here, so that green line is pretty much what is going to set them off. So, it's kind of forgiving, but what is not forgiving, you can see one moving over there, is that uh, very jagged looking caterpillar of death. I think you are mostly fine getting close to them. They don't have any view cones, so that's not going to set them off. The main problem is they are pretty much walking spike traps. So if we happen to land on them from the top, we're just going to get impaled and die. So this might not have been the best place to leave this one to die, but we'll see what we can do. Things are definitely stepping up. You want to be very careful. Maybe we'd look pretty silly blowing, blowing these up in our own faces, but we do have also increased piles of money sitting on the ground here. Nice 72 pound reward. And we really want to get to that computer over there. You just got to be super careful. That's, uh, that's the name of the game. Especially as I am not probably the the best at uh, 
multitasking, probably. Especially when it requires complex directions such as up, down, left, or right. And... Man, there are two computers just outside of our range. I definitely think bombs would be a very, 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 very helpful upgrade. But speaking of which, I'm just going to bonk this guy. He is an upgrade to the to the little sentry drones we've seen before. They This one now has a Gatling gun, so it will shoot us if it sees us. But we see in this room here a very complex and different looking computer system. This will control pretty much all the drones and any kind of, uh, I guess, sentry cameras around the facility. The problem is you have to have, I think, up to level 3 hacking to be able to get into those, so... Obviously, we're not going to be able to do that, and honestly, we're not going to be able to do much on this, uh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mahulda. I didn't think I was that close to the mine. So, we did lose 416 pounds. Not, not a big loss, though. I, I was expecting better things from Miss Clownface, but thankfully we've got a uh, Sally Q Tradesman. She, I'm sure she's bound to be more successful, though well, we got another somewhat new enemy down there. That is a super helpful, friendly baby robot. Not the most dangerous thing in the world, but uh, can be kind of annoying just because it's a bit erratic. It just wants to be our friend, but if it touches us, it will kill us. And it does take, I think, up to three hits to kill, so... It can be a little bit dangerous. Still, it's, that's why, at least later on, it might be a good idea to work up our... Eesh. Yeah, work up our melee, but... Oh, we are we are being scorned by the RNG right now. I mean, we are going to be able to get away with uh, well, 100 pounds, but that's still not going to be enough to get an upgrade. But that... That's just the break sometimes when you're a master thief. You have to go with what the good lord gives you. We don't want to be uh, getting split with a... We don't want to be getting hit on the butt, so... Uh, I, got, I got a good feeling. We just got to get 5,000. We will be good to go. We are still good on days. So that's not really a problem. Problem is just... Maneuvering about. Where did he... Yeah. About to say, did we lose our double jump? No, we still... Still got it. I think, though, whenever we grab onto a wall, if we've already expended our double jump, that will not reset it, so... we have to use that when we get up here. No. Yeah, I think it got expended somehow when I just jumped off the wall. Eesh. I am the best of luck here. Oof. Look the other way, sentry. Oh. Getting close. I mean, the good news is we, we hit that hug bot into the, into the spike pits, but... Things trying to trying to mess up our day here. Oh. <laughs> Damn it! All right. Oh, Miss Tradesman, I'm sorry. All right. Good feelings. It's good. Good. Uh, I'm full of hope. I'm full. I'm full of hope that the uh, the patron saint of thieves, Santa Claus, is going to be. Smiling upon us in at least one of these goddamn runs, because I really do want to get out of the warehouse and just keep on going. Because the next area, as you can probably assume, is going to be even better with the moolah. Yeah, and sometimes just uh, trying to get off walls without sticking to them can be a uh, Sticky situation. I just want to be careful. It's really the name of the game here. 
And rushing is what's gonna get you uh, murdered. Though I, I don't feel like I've been rushing too much, but we do have a keen or er, prime opportunity here to see what happens when an enemy touches one of these. Yep, we get a nice, nasty surprise. And bot that guy. He shouldn't be too much of a problem as long as we don't jump onto him. Yeesh! Come on, man. Come on, RNG. What are you doing? What are you doing to me, RNG? You got a nice computer up there. It's got thousands of pounds just waiting for me, but you don't want me to get them, and I don't understand why. Still, I mean, at least it's relatively quick to, to find out when we're pretty much fucked. So, uh, but it really goes to show you want to get those upgrades as quick as possible. You could, you could, in all technicality, go back to the slums, maybe get a few quick bucks that way. But relatively speaking, it would just be safer, not more rewarding. So we just, we just gotta keep our fingers crossed, hope for the best, make sure not to get caught. Ah. This is already going super good. I think if we can at least get to a computer, we're good. And there's a computer! Are you dead? Nope, there you go. Alright. At least get some quick money. Should be enough. Yeah, that's a nice chunk of Chunk of change, as I sound like an insane person. Yeah, I think that's that's good enough. We can at least get bombs. I think bombs would be the best option. And Popo's here. I don't really care about that lock door. Thank God I live in America, where the police can't just knock down your door and rush in as a robotic cop would want to do. But yeah, bombs are great, and they are super useful, and that's why we are picking them up. Now, we only start off with a whopping three bombs, and we will have those three bombs every time we start a mission. We can get a few upgrades for them, such as being able to build them faster and having them affect more of an area. But, well, I think we, uh, we should hopefully have a more successful heist. I know... I know I've been having my fingers crossed this entire time for that, but... Well, that's what, that's what happens when you deal with the roguelite. So, now that we have bombs, we now have an additional menu that we can access, which is this lovely menu here. Simple enough to select our bomb. And get rid of their annoying beeping noise. Yeah. Oh, we can actually get up here, that's good. Because, well, while we're already by the entrance, we can probably try to use our brand new bombs. Simply placing them down. And then getting away before they explode. And you see, they clear apart at least one square of uh, nearby terrain. I think once you get them upgraded, they will cover more ground, which is always good. Though I might have wasted a bomb here, because it doesn't look like we can get past or get too much from this experience here. So I'm smacking some hug bots. There you go. And we'll just leave you in there. They're best friends. They're gonna have a whopping good time. Yeah. Let's see if we can't find something more fruitful. I will, it is a good thing that uh, you don't have to pay for more bombs, like it, the bombs we're using in this mission will refill once we head back to the airship. So we don't have to worry about that too much, but that is a worry. Yes, that security camera right there, we are not going to be able to hit it 
And unless we have access to the security computer, we're not going to be able to shut it down, but... Hmm. Yeah, I think we might have to just suck it up and try to get through to that one computer. Maybe see if we can't get any more, because I think... I think at most we might be able to hack that computer, but get caught by the security camera. I think that... unless there's something else close by is... oh. Lucky us! As we can get by the Hugbot and not get spotted, we might have a nice little reward waiting for us. Go away, Hugbot. Go away. Oh, we're at least gonna get some, uh, good, a good, a uh, good payout. I mean, I was expecting to get caught either way, just uh, not so stupidly, I guess. There you go. I think, uh, I don't know if there's anything else close by. There you go. Uh, yeah, that, that down there looks like death, so let's, let's circumvent the death and just get the hell out of here. I was a bit surprised by how quickly the police showed up in that last mission, our, our last little heist, because I did not expect them to show up that quickly. It's definitely a problem. Ooh, yeah, that was pretty close. Still no successful heist yet, This is a bit of a problem, but it's okay because we can now get our next upgrade for hacking. And as far as I know, you can't skip over levels of hacking, so I don't think we can go from just level 3 straight out, so, you know, to get this upgrade either way, so, no real problem there, because it will be super helpful. And we can get some upgrades that will lower how quickly the police will decide to interfere, though... Well, 5,000's not too bad, so that might be... might be a reasonable upgrade to get. But I think the next thing we really want to go for is probably the wall jump, just because it'll stop us from sliding down. And obviously, we still want to get to that 25,000. It's really really got to get lucky. Because I think we've already spent about... Well, almost equal the amount of time we spent trying to get through the slums. Now, one thing to worry about whenever you're hacking the doors is that you're not going to be able to close them like other doors. So, well, you kind of want to plan out when you hack them just so you don't have an enemy coming straight at you. And the good news is the, the enemies, the enemy robots are not the smartest, so well, if you could close the door, you could technically lock them out, which, you know, would be pretty helpful. Though, you know, just taking them out of commission is probably the way you want to go normally. Wow, this is pretty dangerous. Lots of guards, lots of... Oh, there's fuck all up there, that's good. And a mine. Ooh. This might be a good opportunity to head up. Might be a little bit less dangerous up there. Oh, that's a good room. And that's really nice to us. As far as I've been able to tell, it's not usually useful to hack the security system just because the amount of stuff it affects is somewhat minimal and not usually the stuff that's going to cause you the most issues. Usually what's going to cause you the most issues are the, the robots patrolling about. And as far as I know, they are not affected by the security system. You see here, there's a 
tiny bit of a timing problem here. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to hit all of them. Let's see if we can't try our luck down further. Ah, finally, a computer. Though it is, I would say that's not the best place, but guess what? Bombs to the rescue. Because we can set bombs uh, while we're just wall hanging. That opens up a nice little path for us, and thankfully these robots are not too keen on the whole noise aspect of being a security guard. That's nice, that's good. And there is another one down there. And normally it would be a very bad idea to just fall straight down into that nonsense, but hey, that's why we bought the, the hacking upgrade. Now, be a little bit less troubled. Well, I'm also just really glad they don't seem to notice us bonking them. It doesn't set off their alarms or anything. You do want to be super, super careful though whenever you do hack a mine that there might be a sentry drone still nearby because sometimes they'll decide that it's a good idea to fly into what you into that mine you just hacked and kind of blow it up right in your face not the best thing in the world hmm we might have enough time to not set off the alarm I don't think do not think we might, or I don't think we're going to be able to do this without setting off the alarm. That's, that's one of those times when you really want that hacking speed upgrade. Because this takes quite a bit of time. Oh, I was, oh it's, fuck you. I was doing so good and you just made me look like an idiot. It's already bad enough because I already look like a fucking idiot. Oh no, this isn't good. Hmm. Oh, that was somewhat close. Ooh. We are up to 6,000. That's probably the most we've gotten so far. We definitely don't want to mess up now. Just gotta get back to our drop. Our. Yes, we're fucking space marines. We gotta get back to our drop pod. Hail the Emperor. Alright. We are finally, finally doing better, and we have our first successful heist, so... Uh, whew, that's pretty good. I, I get a, a strong feeling. I, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to make it to 25,000 on this update, which I... To apologize for just because we had some pretty pretty bad luck there at the start. But I do want to try to get at least one or two more successful runs in. Already we got a nice computer here, which is not terribly well guarded. I say that and then that drone just immediately turns around and messes up my day. Yeah, that, that hacking upgrade is just paying off immensely. Boink. You know, that was probably my favorite Turbo Graphics game, Boink. Is their mascot. You want to be super careful here. Because, like I mentioned last, or uh, mentioned in that previous heist. Yeah, that thing will just fly right into what you're trying to hack. And we'll just make you feel like a complete idiot. Also, I think if the if an explosion does hit a computer, it will just make it so the, the computer can't be hacked. So definitely want to be careful with that. Especially when laying with your own bombs, as obviously your bombs aren't explosive as well. Good, good, good. And... 
There's a sack of money down there, but he is pretty busy. So, let's see if we can maybe find an alternate way around. And if we can't, I think this has been pretty successful. We have three bombs. Let's see if we can't get some use out of that. There's a good thing to keep in mind is that the bombs will only clear away one block. And that's really good to keep in mind if you're trying to, like, dig your way through a building. Yeah, see there? We just destroyed the computer. It's okay, we already got our money's worth out of it. We are doing all this for just a single sack of cash, but, you know, hubris and all that. Still, it pays off, because we got our money. We might actually be able to get that other quick sack of cash down there. I think it'll be worth it. Just because it seems pretty easy. Make sure to pack this without blowing ourselves up. Ah, uh, good, good, good. Oh, man. Ah, hubris. It should be easy thing. Easy hubris. There we go. Hooray! And I think that should be a reasonably large amount of cash. We might have gotten... We have, might have made enough... Yep. Another successful heist, which means we got an additional XP bonus from all that. That puts us at a whopping 17,000. We are reasonably close. Reasonably close to getting that 25,000 for the next area, but... Are we really in that much of a rush? Because we do have other things we could purchase. Such as that hack speed upgrade. And getting more cash from the computers. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to maybe leave it up to you guys if you want to see something. Uh, or if you want me to stay in this zone for a little bit longer, I can with the next update. I mean, we're not too pressed on time as of right now. And some of these upgrades could probably be pretty useful to us in that next area, because it is going to be getting exponentially harder. So, I think for right now, I'm going to leave it at this, and we'll see you next time.